Hi everybody. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to look at materials one last time because I want to show you the content browser. There are textures that come with Cinema 4D installed. So um, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of textures that you can use. Excellent stuff. You got to know about it because you can save yourself a lot of time by just digging into the content browser and finding textures instead of searching for these types of things online. So I've just set up a scene here where I have a few spheres and a plane. And I'm going to find some textures in my content browser. If you, uh, well, let's get into it and then I'll talk to, talk to you about if you don't see what I'm seeing. So I'm going to go to Window and I'm going to con go to Content Browser. Okay. So in here, I'm going to go right to Presets and you should see a Materials folder. If you do not see the Materials folder, it means you need to install the content. So let me show you where that would be. You would go to help and you would find check for updates. This is if you don't see the materials. Let this um, spin for a few seconds and it's going to show you what you're potentially missing in your Cinema 40 download. Okay, so you can see that I still have not downloaded some content that, that would come with this. Um, the that comes with different objects or different like lighting presets and things like that. So I will install these. Just a warning, install these one at a time. Every time I try to install these as a pack or a few selected at the same time, they fail. One at a time and each one will take about 15 minutes and we'll do a restart of your Cinema 40. So you will see if you don't have this materials editor, this materials folder, you'll see something called Content Libraries Materials, and that's the one you need to download. I'm going to close this out. Okay, so let's pretend we all have it now. Let's open up the Materials folder. You're going to see a whole bunch of folders uh, where all the textures will be inside. Let me. It's kind of annoying to have to double-click every one of these and go back to get to the other folders. So let me show you a quick way to look at all of these textures. If I select on the first one, which is Asphalt, I can see what's inside there. But a quick way to kind of scrub through everything is to click on this folder once and use your arrow keys to go down or up. And then I can find them really quickly. You can see there's a lot of great stuff in here, glass and grass and jewelry and leathers and metals and all types of things that you might potentially want to use. So how do you get them into Cinema 40? Okay. Let's uh, pretend I want some. So I'm going to double click maybe this plastic. I'm going to look at um, maybe a grass texture here for the ground. I'm going to pick, um, I like the effects folder where I can find uh, lava. I can select it once to see a larger preview or double click it and they will go down into my materials uh, manager. And we need one more. Let's look at uh, maybe a concrete. How about that? Okay, excellent. Now that I've double clicked a few of these and brought them down here, I'm going to close this away and begin to drag these textures onto my models. I'm going to do a quick render, a little preview. <clears throat> excellent. Okay, so if uh, you want your textures to look a little bit more realistic, you're going to need a light. A quick light that you can just use while you're trying this out would be to hold down the floor up here and go to Physical Sky. This is going to add a sunlight. And if you click on that Physical Sky, there's so many things you can change. Uh, the sun direction and the time and location of the sun in the sky. You can see I can change the time of day and you'll get um, a more realistic look at these textures. So let's take a look now when I render after I've added the physical sky. Okay, so my plastic texture is looking a little bit more realistic. It has a little bit more reflection and shine to it. And it also has some shadows now that I've added my physical sky. So try this out, guys. Um, using the content browser. Dig in there. There's so many textures to find and, and try out. Uh, good luck and uh, stay tuned for my next video.